Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What a weekend it has been on FIFA 22 in Foot Birthday because EA, we thought one pack glitch was pretty crazy. Two days in a row now, we have had different packs and SBCs inside of FIFA 22 that have been glitched, giving out the incorrect rewards, and it's dropping prices on the market because people are selling cards from their teams, going and trying to get the tokens or the SBC fodder that they need to get these SBCs done and to try to do the SBC or get the pack during its glitched state in order to get compensation, right? That's kind of what's been going on this weekend. And two days in a row, we have had this happen. First, yesterday, uh, with the mid or prime icon player pick that was giving out icon moments cards. And then, of course, on Friday, you guys remember the Foot Birthday Team 1 pack was giving out cards from Foot Birthday Teams 1 and two. So we're going to talk about all of that madness and how it's impacting the market because prices are down even further across the whole entire game. We were looking at this Mbappe card yesterday at what, 630,000 coins? Yeah, now this guy is like 570k and he was even a bit lower than this because so many people are going out and trying to do that icon glitch for the mid-prime player pick while it was active um, to try to exploit that a little bit. Um, and it's a pack glitch, right? It's not like a gameplay glitch where you're really going to get banned from it um, because you can say, hey, I was just trying to do the SBC to get the cards from the pack, uh, but everybody kind of knew there was a glitch going on with that. So we're going to talk about that today, how it impacted the market. And of course, today on Sunday is a really, really big day, mini release. More foot birthday cards coming into packs, and there is a massive, a huge foot, play, foot birthday player SBC that is scheduled to be today. We're going to talk about that in this video as well. So if you're enjoying the uploads, make sure to hit thumbs up, and of course, subscribe if you are new. Now, the SBC yesterday on Saturday that caused all of this craziness is the mid or prime icon player pick SBC. Now it's out and it's repeatable, but it is only, you can only do it once and then it resets every couple days. So I did it yesterday. I, I rarely do these SBCs. I saw that it was glitched and the glitch was it's a mid or prime icon player pick, but it was giving out icon moments cards. A lot of you guys know this, but just to cover it quickly for those who don't, this player pick was giving out icon moments items. I'll even show you the player pick that I did on my companion app. I did the SBC um, and I got Prime Gigs, Mid Stoikov, and Moments Desai. So I was able to get a Moments player, player from this player pick. Um, I obviously took this Moments Desai, but this is the SBC that everybody was running and doing yesterday, right? If you take a look at some of the comments on this tweet, you know, look at the cards that people are packing from this. Moments Zanetti and Moments Bergkamp. Brand new Moments icons. There's a Moments right in that one, right? Um, let's see. Some some people weren't getting Moments cards, but a Prime Pushkas, okay. Uh, and then other guys, like, I don't even know if this is real or not, but like Maldini, Hullet, and Roberto Carlos. That screenshot looks a little bit sus, but I'm going to believe it. And that's nuts. That is nuts. Look at this, bro. A, a Moments Cruyff and a Moments Zanetti. If I scroll and, and continue to scroll down through this player pick, like Guardiola, somebody got there. Somebody got a Prime Pele. Like, look at these Moments cards that are popping up in here. There's another Desai in this one. Moments Balak, right? Uh, it, it's just all over the place as people were packing Moments cards from the SBC yesterday. And, and EA tweeted out, right? They addressed this issue and they said, we are aware that the mid-prime icon player pick included icon moments items. This issue was addressed earlier. We will be following up with the impacted players in game in the coming days. So not only do we have EA going to be compensating people for the issues that happened with the foot birthday team one pack, this 10 swap token item here that was giving out foot birthday team two players, we now have EA that's going to be giving out some the mid or prime player pick to people again. I would imagine those that did pack the Icon Moments cards would be getting another player pick, like myself included, right? Since I packed this Moments Desai, which actually fits slots in perfectly to the squad, and I'm actually really excited to try this guy out, they're not going to take this card away from you because you got an item that wasn't supposed to be in the pack. Uh, they're going to compensate, right? Because what they advertise as mid or prime icons, um, you know, there was other items that were in that pack. So, I mean, if you didn't pack a moment's icon yesterday and you went out and did this, um, I think EA should compensate you. It's the same thing as with the foot birthday team one pack that was on Friday when, when that was glitched. 
I feel like if anybody opened the mid or prime yesterday during the glitched period or opened the foot birthday team one pack during the glitched period, you should receive compensation. It's probably not going to happen until like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like later on this week. But since everybody was knowing that that SBC was glitched and they knew that compensation was likely, which as we see now from EA tweeting it out, it is going to happen. Everybody yesterday on the market was in a frenzy once again, and they went out and they sold cards from their team to try and go and fund doing that icon player pick and hopefully getting lucky. So the whole point here was if you were doing that, there's a nice undercut from Mbappe. If you were doing that player pick, the hope was you would pack a moments card or open it during the glitched period and get compensated so that you would get the player pick again. It's kind of weird because we know that it's a glitch, and that EA would probably compensate people, but you can actually turn that into a little bit of an advantage. So look at it however you want to, but since I had a lot of fodder in the club, I said, you know what, let's just go for this um, and give it a shot. And it worked out. I know some of you guys went and got some cool cards as well. So we'll see what happens with compensation and we'll see what EA Sports do with this. But again, since everybody was trying to take advantage of this opportunity, prices on the market dropped literally everywhere. The cards in packs, if you take a look at so many of these graphs on the game yesterday, you just see prices dropping immediately. It was right at the 6 p.m. time frame when these, when these cards dropped in price. I mean, take a look at Fakir, right? 595 down to 533 and then down even further to 497 where he is right now. It hit a lot of the out of packs cards. I mean, I mean, of course, the current in packs items like Dybala, I was selling Dybala for 1.57 million coins yesterday, like right here. I've sold Dybala right in here. Now the guy is down at 1.25, 1.275. It's crazy how much these cards have gone down in price, but it's also the out of packs market. Take a look at Foot Birthday Team 1. Ronaldo's 4.2 million coins. Um, who else is down? Odegaard's 450. How low was Odegaard during all the madness yesterday? I'm sure he was even lower than 450. He was down at 450. Then he bounced back to 475, still down at 450. And as you take a look at the rest of the out of packs market, um, let's see who else was down. Mares, I saw Mares at like 700,000 coins. He's back up to 760. As you can see here, see this panic down to 700. Boom, back up to 770 where he is now. Renato Sanchez, if I can find his card, this card continues to drop. And a lot of these prices, I don't expect them to rebound. Again, it's kind of the same thing that happened yesterday uh, or two days ago on Friday um, with the glitched foot birthday uh, team one pack. A lot of these prices aren't going to just bounce back, um, especially after yesterday when so many people were selling cards from their team to go and buy SBC fodder to get the SBC done. You can even see it when you look at these fodder prices. Take a look at Holland, 23, 24,000 coins yesterday. The glitch is you know, active and known and happening. This guy spikes to 32,000 coins. Then of course, as the hype kind of dies down and it's not glitched anymore, EA tweets out. And now as uh, EA is running lightning rounds late into the night, Saturday night into Sunday, these fodder cards are kind of dropping down again. So, you know, it's even for these for these fodder cards, it, it makes a very interesting investment opportunity. If you bought these cards on like Friday night when we were talking about it uh, or Saturday before the whole glitch madness was happening, you got a really, really great price. But is, even as we head out of this weekend into this week of, of good content and into today with maybe a big time foot birthday player SBC, some of these cards are still looking buyable at their current prices because of how low they've gotten with the supply this weekend. So that was that was kind of how the market reacted yesterday to all of the madness of that glitched pack. And, and that's why prices are down. I mean, it's, it's not just the cards that are in packs right now um, that are dropping in price. It was the whole entire market out of packs cards icons especially with the brand new icon moments uh that were that were released out yesterday in the game as well a lot of those cards got to cheap prices like right away i mean look at this danny alvis down over a hundred thousand coins from yesterday actually it's really funny to look at these uh this silas card right silas foot birthday was like 80 90 000 coins yesterday right now this guy's like 50k i think he's even less than 50 000 coins on the market at the moment crazy for the price drop-offs that we saw yesterday. Now, again, I know there's a lot of coins that are being put onto the market with lightning rounds and stuff like that, but for a lot of the out-of-packs cards that, that dropped a lot yesterday, yes, some of the really, really rare ones you saw rebounds on, like the Mares, uh, but even a guy like Renato, he, he didn't really 
rebound in price, right? This guy was like 1.15, 1.2 million coins almost. He's still 1.06 for a really, really rare road to the final card. Uh, and, and again, like a guy like Mbappe, who we, who we look at all the time um, to see market crashes and see where his price goes because people buy and sell this card a ton since he's one of the most popular cards in the game still at this point of the year down 100k in two days like i don't expect mbappe especially with a player of the month sbc coming later on this week um i don't expect mbappe or the market really in general to bounce back a lot because so many coins were taken off the game yesterday because that sbc that they released uh or not the, that they released but the sbc that everybody was doing was a 500,000 coin SBC. If you think about it, it makes sense why cards like Mbappe and cards like some out-of-pack specials were down so much yesterday and were panic sold like that Mars that we looked at. If that was the reason uh, why everybody was panic selling, which I think it was, this is a 500k SBC, which not a, it is not that easy for a lot of people to complete, especially when it's like a glitch and it's in a time frame where it's probably not going to be glitched for that long, right? So that is why you saw the market moving like you did yesterday, and that's why you saw all the prices dropping. It was because of that SBC, and all of a sudden people realizing, oh my goodness, this is glitched out. It's giving out Icon Moments cards, everybody running onto the market to try to do those SBCs and get those cards in their team because of that glitch. So today on Sunday is going to be a very interesting day as well, content-wise, because uh, we're going to have more pack supply. We're going to have more lightning rounds. These foot birthdays are getting very, very low again tonight. Uh, just in general, this foot birthday Neuer, I bought I bought um, uh, Friday night at like 138,000 coins. I think it was like right in here, 138K. I bought this dude. He spiked to 180, got really rare. I sold a bunch of mine here about at 160K. He's now down to 118,000 coins, right? I mentioned that I sold Dybala at 1.57. Uh, and you know, you just take a look at all these cards and they just keep dropping continuously. But there's gonna be more lightning rounds today. There's gonna be more content. There's gonna be more foot birthday cards in packs. One of those that we think we might see in packs today is Sancho. A Sancho foot birthday card is an item uh, that we would expect to see today. He was leaked as a part of Team 2 of Foot Birthday, uh, a 5-star, five 5-star five Sancho card. So that would be a really, really dope item if they did release that today. But I don't think that's the most hype part of the content that we could see today. There is a massive SBC, and we have to talk about this for a second. Because th this is a player SBC. This guy has not had specials this year except for a ones to watch and he's been injured. So he hasn't had like any special cards this year. And it's a PSG member. Sergio Ramos SBC. These are the stats that we should see on the Ramos card today on Sunday. This is this this is the SBC that we should be seeing. Now, evidently, it's a five-star skill move, Sergio Ramos, which is interesting, but it's PSG and it's Ramos, and 83 pace to me is not quite enough. I was hoping for 85, kind of like they did with the DeVry SBC, maybe even a little bit more than that. Um, but this is gonna be the card that everybody is excited about today. It's a PSG SBC. So as you've seen on the market, as a lot of cards have been panic sold, people know this SBC is coming and they're getting ready for it. And, you know, it's going to be a hype SBC. It all depends on the price, as it always is, right? It all depends on the price if this Ramos is going to be a good SBC or not. I mean, if you take a look at his base card, which is all that he has in the game right now, besides the ones to watch, which has a plus one rating over it, um, he's going to have 83 pace and a five star skill moves. He's high medium work rates. That's why I was hoping for a bit more pace. But 83 pace on this card probably means he's going to have like 85 acceleration and like 81 sprint speed or something like that. So hopefully maybe EA can, I don't know, they'll just boost up the, the uh, boost up the pace a little bit more. But his defending is going to be cracked. His physicality is going to be cracked. Ramos always has a pretty good item in FIFA. It's just the work rates that let him down a little bit. But again, just because it's Ramos so many people and because of the psg meta of this game so many people are going to want to go out and do the sbc as long as it's not crazy expensive this has guys like left back nuno mens right or the team of the year donnarumma a lot of these cards dropped yesterday with all of the the frenzy the craziness of everybody trying to go do that player pick for the icon moments cards and pack those players but you've seen these prices bounce back up like donnarumma was 175,000 coins yesterday in the peak of the panic selling and he is back up i think to almost 200k 
yeah, he's 195. So he's back up 20,000 coins. The Nuno Men's that we just looked at, he has started bouncing back up. I even think that Hakimi team of the year might be a little bit higher in price than what he was. I think he was like 630s or 640s because of the Danny Alves. Yeah, right now he's 670. So people are preparing for these cards to come out. And on the flip side of things, some of like the Marquinhos special cards are down in price. This version of Marquinhos, who I bought some on Friday to try to trade with, with the Ramos leaks that have been out, this guy's gone from like 300. He's three, 299, man. Like what? Bro, this guy was 400,000 coins literally two days ago. And now that Ramos is leaked, he is down so incredibly low. Now, this price right here is really, really cheap. And there's a lot of panic selling here. A lot of people are trying to get this card out. And may maybe other PSG center backs like Kempembe are going to be affected today. Um, but it really, again, depends on the Ramos price as to where the market does react um, and how cards go up. Are, are the PSG links going to go up in price to this Ramos or is it going to be overly expensive? You know, they've, they've done better SBCs. The SBC that we got yesterday with the Coquelin card, it's not... It's not bad, but it's not amazing. It's just kind of in between. And the DeVry SBC, this, this SBC is like under 100,000 coins to do. I know the stats don't look that great, but it is decent links. It's just kind of like it has a 50-50 upvote, downvote on Footbin. Um, and, but the DeVry SBC and the Rice Rice Baby, right? The last three SBCs that we have had have been an improvement from what we've seen before this. So hopefully the Ramos SBC today is really nice good price and maybe a little bit more of an upgrade than what we would expect. Um, other SBCs that are coming today is one thing I do want to check. I don't know if the prime icon pack, there's a prime icon pack that is out too. Does this expire today? No, nah, it still has a week. So I don't know if we're going to get a new icon upgrade today. We have the still the, the, the mid or prime no longer glitched uh, is still here. And we have the prime pack that is still available for seven days. So I would be surprised if we got another um, icon upgrade SBC. Now, I don't know I don't know anything about Icon player SBCs. Hopefully, they just save those until we get Icon moments. Um, but probably another swap token today as well, whether it's an Objectives or an SBC. And the mini release, which will feature Sancho, I believe, and that Ramos. So it's going to be a pretty big day of Sunday content. And especially after all of the madness with the compensation, everybody's waiting on that. I, again, if you did the Icon player pick yesterday, whether you got a moments card, whether you didn't, I don't know how EA is going to do that compensation or for the full birthday cards, uh, but I feel like that's going to be later on this week. It's going to take them a couple of days, as they always they always said, right? It says impacted players will be will be messaged in the coming days on the game, so it's going to take them a few days. Everybody was doing it yesterday and trying to kind of take advantage of that opportunity. Uh, so, you know, they have a lot of people to kind of work through and a lot of stuff to look at when doing that. So that's kind of what's going on on the market right now. A lot of prices are dropping because the cards and packs, again, are insane. The SBC content has been pretty solid and the, these glitches are just compounding that, right? Because people are trying to take advantage of the stuff that they can take advantage of. And that's why a lot of these prices are going down on the market right now. So if you have any questions, make sure to drop them down below in the comments. I'm excited for a big day today on Sunday. I'll be streaming live for the content drop. Um, of course, with the time change, it's going to be a, an hour uh, later for me, which will be interesting. Um, but for a lot of you guys, it won't change. So if you did enjoy the video today, make sure to hit a thumbs up and subscribe. If you are new, it has been Nate, the foot account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.